Bungie is completely changing the way Destiny works, dropping a new expansion, adding cross-save to platforms, and making the core year one game free to play for all gamers to enjoy, while making future expansions a more a la carte option which won't require you to have previous DLC. So today Bungie dropped a bombshell of new news. We'll talk about things like the new Shadowkeep expansion, Steam, Google Stadia, cross-save, throwing exclusives out the window, and tons more. Here are some timestamps if you're interested in certain news. Anywhere that means cross-save across all of our platforms. We have a new platform that we're adding this year, Stadia. We have a new entry point for the game called Destiny 2 New Light, which is free. And everything we add to the game is going to be purchased a la carte going forward. So Shadowkeep, Season 8. Let's say we in Season 8 we start to lay the foundation for some changes we want to make to PvP, but it doesn't tempt you to come back yet. Well, maybe in Season 9 we'll have something that's going to make you want to come back for sure. No more exclusives going forward for us in terms of gameplay and armor and weapons. And if you're playing the game on PC, we're moving you to Steam. That's kind of like our, that's like the, that's the end of the set list. So let's first begin with the big game-changing news for Destiny in general, and then we'll talk about the Shadowkeep expansion specifically. While you can choose to pay for add-ons like Shadowkeep and future DLC beyond that if there is any, those new additions will be standalone DLC, so you won't have to play or pay for the previous content to jump into the action, and you can experience that story and its activities on its own if you wish. It's as easy as come in, make a character, play the amazing introduction to the game. And then land in the tower. And then we'll set them loose to open up the world as they see fit. And now this is super great news. Destiny 2 under Activision had some difficulty reaching certain audiences and bringing back players who used to love the game from Destiny 1. We even seen at the tail end there some of the desperate moves they were going to make. If PC players downloaded the game for like a time of two weeks, they could keep it for free. I believe it was one of the games of the months for PS4 a while back, so you know, same thing there, download it for free. But now it looks like the free-to-play model is here to stay for this game, and it's exciting for sure, bringing in new players, new guardians joining the ranks in the towers, and yeah. Now we don't have any word if Destiny 3 would implement a model like this, having the big base game being free and then the DLCs from there on out being sort of paid and a choice, but it's a great start for the franchise and let me know your thoughts down below. Now we have one of the most requested features in this game's history. Cross save is Easier. coming. So if your friends who are playing Destiny are on different platforms, we're adding cross save so that you can move between the different platforms and play wherever your friends are. Like if I'm playing and I want to move over to my PC, I should have my character go with me. We want Destiny to meet you wherever you want to play. So that's in incredibly important for us. We wanted cross save before we shipped Destiny 2, right? Like a like, bunch of it was built. We just couldn't get there for capital R reasons. Um, and uh, many of those reasons have uh, disappeared. So we are headed full steam ahead on that. And we gotta figure out how we're gonna get there and how we're gonna give the players what they want. Now some of you may know I play an Xbox all the time and I recently bought Forsaken a couple of weeks ago trying to jump on PC and gear up for opulence with some friends. But once you jump back into it, you realize how much content is actually in the game and it was possible for me to try and get work done or work on my game while I was trying to level my character. So now I can play on Xbox whenever I want, switch to PC, and pick up where I left off. Next up, Steam and Stadia. Destiny 2 will have a couple of new homes following the departure from Activision. The game will move to Steam from Blizzard's Battle.net launcher, and those who had the game over on BNET will be able to migrate their progress and purchases for free. Next to the whole migration from Battle.net to Steam, Destiny 2 will also be one of the launch titles for Google's new Stadia gaming platform. Stadia is a cloud-based gaming platform, think of it like Netflix. You'll be able to get onto Google Chrome on any device you want, click Play Destiny 2, and boom, you're in. Now something that's really cool is if you are part of Stadia Pro, which is their membership for $9.99 a month, you will receive Destiny 2, all of its expansions, all the annual pass content for free. 
That is a crazy amount of content for just $9.99 a month, and you can also transfer your previous saves from, say, Xbox or PC to the new Stadia platform, and it does say Sony is pending, so they could approve this in the future, like mentioned also in this video, but we'll have to wait and see. So with this image right here, you can also see it confirms you, well, you get all that content, plus the bottom there, it says Shadowkeep Annual Pass. So it looks like Shadowkeep's coming out in the fall, and then alongside that, another annual pass, just like we've had this year. We now have the newest standalone DLC for the game, and it launches September 17th, titled Shadowkeep. From a leak just a couple of days ago, we learned that we'll be heading back to the lunar surface to explore a giant, weird-looking citadel and take out a new hive army, or that's at least what we could assume. Looking to the future always brings us back to the past. Can you feel them? I can still hear their voices. Their endless torment reshapes our moon. Nightmares now stalk the surface. Walking shadows, seeking vengeance. Our old fears, they rise again. And in the dark below, something wicked has awakened. We must bring an end to this suffering. One way. We now know that Eris Morn is returning and we will definitely be heading back to the moon to stop some crazy nightmares and some weird looking enemies. Now something you may have missed within the Season of Opulence update was a UI error that said Season of the Undying. This could have been a hint for Shadowkeep, perhaps it was just a typo, but it appears some old friends have been resurrected or created in the depths of our moon. From the trailer we can pick out some like Gaul, Skolas, and Crota. Not sure if you noticed it, but the Omnigol screen was also in there as well. Awakened. So not getting too much into that lore, but either these were resurrected somehow, or perhaps were being fooled by some of the Hive Gods, maybe Sabathun or her sister. Definitely can't wait to find out. And while all those journeys that she's done have brought her back to the moon, the a moon that we thought we had like left behind, that we had killed the threats there, well, she's discovered something even darker in the dark below. Now the Destiny 2 Steam page is already up and here's how it describes the story. New nightmares have emerged from the shadows of our moon. Called forth by haunting visions, Eris Morn has returned. Join her to slay these nightmares before they reach out beyond the moon to cast humanity back into an age of darkness. So this is all super crazy, this video is packed with a ton of information, so I plan on making another one discussing uh, Shadowkeep, its story, some of the secret things you may have missed. As we know, Eris has been absent since before the Cabal invaded the last safe city, and she's been out there kind of trying to figure out what's going on with the Hive, how we can stop them. As we know, things like Worm God, Savathun, and her sister still do exist out there. So it's going to be super exciting to see how this story is going to unfold, and if you want to see some more of that, subscribe to the channel as I'll be making a video very soon. So the base for the Shadowkeep expansion will be 35 US dollars, but there's also a collector's edition available which you can see on the Bungie store. This thing in the US will net you $150 and it includes the following. You get a letter from Eris warning you of this new threat, a hive cryptoglyph that guards the secret of unthinkable right, and the records of a classified Golden Age expedition that could not survive the truth. The same truth that we must now confront. Now the collector's edition itself won't contain a physical disc, you'll get a download code which is how things are usually run nowadays, and it will release the same time of September 17th, 2019. 
Along with that stuff, you'll get an in-game emblem, the Metal Luna Mission Container, a Luna Mission Handbook, and a Luna Journal along with artifacts from the Golden Age. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. Tons of news, super exciting stuff from Bungie, and they say they're just getting started laying out this new foundation for the franchise. If you'd like to see some more awesome Destiny news and entertainment just like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you guardians in the next one.